Hello, and thank you for joining me today. My name is Jocelyn Donovan. I am the CPNP for Niwasa Kandaswin Teg. Thank you so much for joining me. Today, we are going to talk about uh, some of the changes you may have noticed in your pregnant body. Now, there's a lot of myths about pregnant bodies out there. So my goal is to cut through some of the misinformation and get you straight to the facts. So today we're going to talk about hair, eyes, teeth, and skin. <laughs> Let's start with hair. You may have noticed that your hair is growing more quickly than before you were pregnant, or like me, it might have stopped growing altogether. Both are normal, and it's just your body responding to the different hormones that you're producing. If you are finding that your hair is thicker and fuller and growing faster than before, you might experience some hair loss after pregnancy. This is very common, and in the weeks following birth, you might wake up with your pillow full of hair. <laughs> Don't worry, you shouldn't lose more hair than you gained, and if you are finding that you're getting bald spots or something, then talk to your doctor and they might refer you to a dermatologist. True or false, it is dangerous to color your hair while pregnant. False. <laughs> there is no evidence that modern hair coloring chemicals will harm your fetus. Now, this is a matter of personal preference. As my stylist says, pregnant stylists use hair coloring chemicals all day, every day, and there's no documented evidence that it affects their babies in any way. There's no warnings or labels on the coloring jars. So as far as we can tell, it's safe. There haven't been any studies that have shown that hair dye chemicals can affect a fetus in any way. That being said, when you apply hair dye to your scalp, your skin will absorb some of those chemicals. And whatever you absorb into your skin goes into your bloodstream. And whatever goes into your bloodstream goes to your baby. So small traces of chemicals probably will be in your bloodstream but there's no reason to think that those chemicals will do anything harmful to your baby, but it's really up to you. So it's a matter of personal preference. If you think that there's a risk, just don't color your hair. But if you are like me and you have a lot of grays coming in and you feel better about yourself, if you get your hair colored now and then, go for it. It's all right. Yeah. My next topic is I. <laughs> Did you know that your eyes can be affected by the pregnancy? It's not as commonly discussed as other pregnancy complications or issues. So, true or false, your eyesight may get worse during pregnancy. True. Before I became pregnant, I had no idea that my eyes could be affected by the changes in my body. Since your body is retaining water for the baby, you may have noticed that your eyes are dry or your vision is slightly blurred. This is because your body is prioritizing the fetus and not your eyes. However, if you do develop blurred vision um, to the point where you really can't see anymore, then you may have a condition called preeclampsia, which can be very serious. So please, if you have severely blurred vision that comes on suddenly, talk to your doctor or midwife immediately. If you were diabetic before pregnancy and not just experiencing gestational diabetes, you are at risk of developing a condition called diabetic retinopathy. This can cause long-term vision loss and you may need corrective surgery. Make sure you and your medical team have a plan for dealing with your diabetes so the condition does not worsen. My next topic is dental care. <laughs> now, true or false? During pregnancy, your teeth can become weaker. True. Your hormonal changes will have a negative impact on your oral health. Gingivitis is a very common condition with pregnant women. Your gums become swollen, which makes it harder to brush and floss your teeth. It is recommended that you do continue to brush and floss even if you're seeing blood. Poor oral health can also result in periodontitis, an infection of the bone that supports your teeth. This can result in tooth loss, 
heart and respiratory disease, and it can affect a pre-existing diabetes. Periodontitis can also lead to preterm labor and a low birth weight for the infant. If you are able, try to get your teeth cleaned at least once during your pregnancy. If you have a status card, you have non-insured health benefits. The NIHB covers cleanings, treatments, and oral surgery. It's much better to get the regular cleanings than to go back for oral surgery. So please get the treatment that will help you keep your teeth for the rest of your life. My last topic for the day is skin. Now, true or false, your skin will improve during pregnancy. True or false. Some people get glowing, beautiful, clear skin during their pregnancy. We call them the lucky people. Other people, like me, look sallow and tired and spotty. Both are normal. It just depends how your body is responding to your pregnancy hormones. If you are breaking out, try washing your face with really hot water in addition to your favorite cleanser. Also change your pillowcases more often because they tend to trap all of that grease from your hair and skin and redeposit it right into your pores. You may also develop stretch marks on your belly, breasts, and any other area where you gained weight. This is completely normal and most women have stretch marks somewhere on their body. Using moisturizer can help reduce the chance of getting stretch marks or can make them a little bit less obvious, but in the end, they're marks that show that you grew a life in your body. And of course, your skin's gonna show some of that hard work that you put in. So be proud of your stretch marks, you earn them. You may also be a bit itchy on your belly or your breasts as the skin is stretching, but if you have severe itchiness that doesn't go away uh, and no matter what you do, definitely call your doctor or your midwife because that can be a sign of liver failure, which is more common during pregnancy. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you have any tips or tricks, please share them in the comments and let me know if there's any other episodes that you would be interested in seeing. Thank you so much. Goodbye.